Shalom brothers and sisters, I hope you're all doing great. The today lesson is about the book of Psalm chapter 5, okay? So, let's start. To the chief musicians upon Nel Hilot of Psalm of David. God ab abhorred wickedness, so the most high God hate wickedness. Okay, that's the title. And let's, um, let's start the first one. Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto, unto thee will I pray. And he call, he prayed to the Most High, he called upon to him because he trusted in the Most High. That's why he said, unto thee will I pray, because he know there is no other God to pray on. There is no other, there is no other God to look upon, to trust on. Those gods are idol, okay? And that's how those of us who are in this world, who believe in the Most High, when we pray to Him, we just, we, we really do lean on Him and wait. Like, we know you are the only one who can deliver us. You, we know you are the only one who hear my prayer. So, I will wait upon you. You will wait and wait. And like I, I, I explained in my previously videos um the book of psalm chapter 4 i said when you're doing wickedness the most high not going to hear your meditations he's not going to hear your voice when you cry unto him okay and i give some um, some example that he don't he won't hear your prayer okay you might say oh the most high always hear my prayer either i either i don't keep um do what the book says and the most I always hear my prayer. He give me those things that I need. Some will say I don't even serve God, but he always hear my prayer. Give me those things that I want. Listen, the most high, he take care of every creature on this planet because he made them. Even the animals, he made all these animals. He said, look at the birds. These birds don't even work. They don't gather nothing, but still, you will see they will have food to eat. That's how the Most High is. He's taking care of every creature on this planet, even the wicked. Okay? But when the Most High brings His judgment upon you and you did not repent, that day you will find out that He's not going to hear your cry. Even you meditate to Him, He's not going to hear you because all these years, all this time, He gives you a chance to repent, but you did not repent. You say, oh, the Most High, He is happy with me. He is not angry at me. Okay? But if you don't do his will, he's not going to hear your prayer. He won't hear you. Just like David uh, prayed to him. Okay? David, he will, he, he will hear the prayer of David because David uh, trusts in him. He do what the Most High says. Okay? Let's go to three. My voice shall thou hear in the morning. And... My voice uh, will that is um, uh, yes. He going to hear in the morning. Oh Lord, in the morning will I direct my prayer unto Thee, and will I look upon. Like I said, you know, when you believe in the Most High, you trust in Him. You know there is no other God. So when you pray to them, you look upon Him. You don't. You don't lean on people like, oh, this or that. Or you sit in there and wait that this idol or the idol's God is going to deliver you. No, you just look upon him. You will wait because you know he is the only real God who will hear you and deliver you. There is no other. And that, that's what you pray. That's what you do every day. <clears throat> every morning. Every morning you woke up out of your bed. You're like, oh, there's something that I ask most high. I did ask him to help me with to find a job. Every morning, when you when you send um, a, a a email to find a, to when you search for a job, you're going to you going to uh, lean on the Most High like the Most High is going to bless me today with a job. Every morning, every ex everything you ask him, you will you going to wait on every morning to see how that prayer will go for, will fulfill. I hope I explain it good. Okay, and four. For thou art not a God 
that had pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The Most High hate wickedness. He hate when you do wicked, especially when you know that you do doing wicked. Okay? He say, neither shall evil dwell with thee. If you do wicked, you're not going to dwell with the Most High. You're not going to dwell among the Israelites. You won't dwell with those, the remnant. You won't. You won't be able to sit there in the kingdom and ride the other nation going to serve you. You won't because the Most High is going to cut you off. Okay, when he say, neither shall evil dwell with thee, that's mean you're going to, he will cut you off and you will go to the lake of fire. I will, um, and I will use uh, this example. I like to uh, use the book of, 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 of Saul. The story of Saul, I like to use that. Most, I mean, most, of, most of the time you will hear me talk about the story of Saul and David. So I will use that story, okay? So he says um, he, ha he don't have pleasure in wickedness, okay? He said, neither shall evil dwell with him. That's mean he's going to cut the, those people who doing evil cut off. Let's go to the book of um, 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 uh, 1 Samuel chapter 15. So, yes, the book of 1 uh, um, Samuel chapter 15. I'm, I'm going to start at first um, 23 through 29. Okay. He said, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is, is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He had also rejected thee from being king. The Most High, he said, he, he don't have pleasure in, in wickedness, and he not going to dwell with thee. So this is the reason why he have rejected um, Saul, because he was wicked. And he cut him off. He took back his uh, his uh, his righteous uh, uh, angels from him and sent the evil one to the Most High. And when the Most High sent those evil spirits to you to dwell among you, that's me going to destroy you. He will kill you because he's he tired of you. Twenty four. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy words. Because I, I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now therefore I pray thee, pardon me, pardon my sin, and turn again with me, that I may worship the Lord. And Samuel said unto Samuel, and Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord hath rejected thee from being king of Israel. What Saul did was evil, but what David did was more evil. David killed and took his neighbor wife. Okay? You will say he forgave David, but he didn't forgive Saul. It's because Saul was a wicked man. And that's somehow people are. Some in the beginning they will be righteous, but it can be, become evil. Because when the Most High started to see, to see some wicked um. Uh, I will say correct um, character in you, he will cut you off and he's going to destroy you. And we're going to read soon those, um, those ty types, those, the thing that the most high hate, that we will read those things that the most high hate. And Saul had all of them. The most high can see in the future. He know, okay, this one I can lose you, but after a while, I'm going to put you aside because you are a wicked person. You are evil. Evil you was in the beginning righteous, but the most I can see in the future. So when he cut someone off, you can't say, oh, poor, this, poor, that. No, the most high know. He know who this person is. Okay, the most high know why he forgave David, because he know David was righteous, but he just off. He went off. Okay, but he was a what righteous. So sin as well, but the most high know he sees the future. He know this is a wicked one. I'm not going to take him back. He is wicked. Okay? So, the Most High say no because uh, Samuel was speaking on behalf. He was speaking for the Most High. So, the more he says no. I'm going to reject you. And 26, 7. 
And as Sam Walt turned about to go away, he laid a hold upon the skirt of his mantle, and it went. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord went, when the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and had given it to a, given it to a neighbor, neighbor of thine, that is better than you, and that's how the Most High is. When you are doing evil, because the Most High, he hates people doing evil. He had no pleasure in those do, doing wickedness, and you're not going to dwell among him. So when the Most High decides to put you aside, he's going to choose someone better than you. Okay? Doesn't matter how great you are, the Most High, the Most High is going to make that person much greater than you. He's going to make your servant much greater than you. Okay, David was a servant of, uh, of Saul. Okay, and that's how you see in this walk. Okay, some Israelites they are, they are among, they are under uh, uh, preachers and people who teach them. But if you don't follow the word of the Most High, the Most High, He will put you aside. And He's going to choose your neighbor, those who listen to you. And that, that person can become much uh, uh, greater than you. That um, uh, um, student who come in, um, in, in, the, in, in the class, who come in into your church, uh, the most high going to use him to become greater than you because you don't want, you don't want, you, you, you just, you don't want, you, um, you just re refuse to, to follow his, his, his word, okay? 29. Also, the, the strength of Israel will not lie. And also... The, also, the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he shall repent. And the Most High, he is not a God that will lie or repent. When the Most High say, I'm going to destroy, he will destroy you. He's not going to repent. You know when he repents? Like I have explained in, in Psalm 4. When the Most High say, I'm going to destroy Israel. In three days, I'm going to destroy this many people. In those three days, he already marked those who are going to they, those who are going to stay alive, but those who are going to destroy they will die. Those he marked, um, uh, to those he going to keep alive, those people they will when he he sends a judgment, they are going to cry unto the Most High. They will cry and they will pray in the Most High. He going to hear those prayers. Those are the ones he when maybe it's three days he will say he will say stop killing those stop killing my children and he can say I repent stop killing them don't don't stop killing them okay I love them but he said because of those he already marked to give a second chance but the wicked one he not he is not repenting when he destroyed them because he know their mindset and that's how it is. He did not repent then when he when he cut off Saul. Okay? He didn't it didn't it didn't hurt them at all at all. Because when you go and read the, the, the history of Saul, Saul be, be started into hating on David. He wanted to kill David. Okay? He wanted to kill David. He 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 went to the enemy. He asked the enemy to destroy his own people. David, he started going, um, or he went to witchcraft. He was doing witchcraft, I say, because he went to this woman, to this familiar spirit. After that, David went and he destroyed all these Levi, these Levi of the Most High, those, those, the, the, the Levi, the priest of the Most High. He killed men, he killed all of them. The most of them, those who were there, he destroyed all of them. Okay, so the Most High know the mindset. That's why he didn't repent when he cut him off. Okay, because he know the future of Saul. That's why he, he took the, the kingdom of him, because he was a wicked person. And after all the shit, the most high, uh, 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 the most high just let him to do all his wickedness. But the most high killed him. He killed him. And before he died, what did he say? I asked the most high, I asked him about, um, I, 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 he went to the most high. To ask him about um, when he going to fight with the Philistine, but the Most High didn't answer him. Do you think he wasn't going to uh, 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 the Sabbath class? Do you think uh, he wasn't still keeping the feast day? Wasn't still keeping clean food? 
He was doing the, all those things. That's why he said, I went to the Most High to pray. And that's how many people are the thing. When you go into the class, Sabbath class, you keep in the feast days, you're eating clean food, and you say you're keeping the Ten Commandments, and that's well, that's that's all. No. The Most High sees the heart. He can cut you off, but you can still do those things. Even he cut you off, but when the day comes, he's going to destroy you. Because he don't have any pleasure in wickedness. And those wicked people are not going to dwell with him. And Saul so was one of them. Okay? So, let's go to the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 13. Okay? Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm coming here is because uh, the Most High said he don't have... He don't, he don't, he don't repent or, or he don't repent. He don't repent when he, when he caught, when he, when he caught Saul off, he didn't repent. He don't repent and he, 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 he don't repent. Okay. Let's go and read. Just like I said, Saul went from worse to worse. He, he never get, he never, he did not repent it, but he became worse than he was in the beginning. The book of second Timothy chapter three, first 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And this is exactly what did happen to Saul. Those of us, those, those Israelites, because I said those Israelites, because the Most High, he going to weak every Israelite. Or you receiving his word or you reject it. But the thing is, you know, someone told you an Israelite. And so someone told you to go and, and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. So you know about that. Okay? So, when the Most High cut those Israelites off, when you, those who who doing wickedness, who have pleasure in doing wickedness, they will, they, 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 they will, they will get, they will get, they will, they shall wax worse and worse. Like so, they will, they will become worse. Okay? They will become worse. That's why he say, I am not repenting because I know your future. I know you will become an evil person. That's why I don't repent when I cut you off. So, and let's go back to the book of Psalm, okay? In verse 5, The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. He say the foolish, and we know foolish people are those who don't, Listen to the Most High. And Saul was one was one of one was though was we was a foolish. Saul was a, a foolish, and we know the Most High said he says in the last day people will come. I uh, people will come and says I did many things in your name. He will say, depart from me, your workers of iniquity. So all these years you just was doing your your pleasure, but you didn't do my pleasure. What I did ask you. Okay, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5. So, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 4 through 12. Okay, I'm not going to read all. I will jump, okay, or some first. Therefore, I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. So the foolish people don't they don't know the, the way of the most high, nor the judgment. Okay, they don't know they don't know his way because they don't have faith, they don't believe. When you read the scriptures to them, tell them if you don't repent, the most high will bring judgment upon you. They will say, No, the most high God loves me. God knows my heart, he loves me, he's not going to do evil to me. The most high don't hurt people, he don't hold, uh, hurt old people. He's going to take care of me. Because they, they are foolish. They don't know the most high his way. Five. I will get me unto the great men and I will speak unto them. No, let's jump to five. Six, sorry. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them. And a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard, leopard shall watch over their cities. Everyone that goeth out then shall be torn in pieces. Because their trans transgressions are many, and their backsliding are increased. This is what the foolish or these foolish, he say, I'm going to bring evil upon you. Evil on evil, I will bring upon you. Because you are evil, you are, you, 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 you transgressions, there are many. 
they are increasing your backslide are increasing that's what um that's what foolish people doing that's what saul was doing he 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 went from works he, he was he works worse from worse i know i say it right way but but uh saul sins increase when the most high called him off he sent his sins increase and that's what the, uh, the, uh, the, the and this is what happened to foolish people because they reject the word of the Most High. The Most High going to send evil upon them, and because they are foolish, they're not going to repent because they don't believe in the Scripture. So they they will increase in doing wickedness because they think, oh, because I still I still alive, I, I can do all those things. The Most High don't see me, He don't hear me, He still loves me. He is all about love. But when the day comes, he's going to destroy just like he did with Saul. Because he don't lie. When I say, I cut you off, there is a physical cut you off and a spiritual one. Okay? The physical, he will cut you off, but the spiritual one, that's when he takes his breath out of you. When he say, I'm going to cut you off, I will. He don't lie. So, seven. How shall I pardon for thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to, to the foe, they then commit adultery and assemble themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. And, and so he went to, the, uh, he was to this, this woman, this witch. Because those things are, when I mean, you go into uh, witches, those things are idols as well. You're idolizing people and, and think they are gods. And you go and ask, and ask for uh, information. Okay? And eight. They were as fat horses in the morning. Everyone neighed after his neighbor wives. And this is how they became, they, was, they were wicked. This is how foolish people are. Shall I not visit for these things, said the Lord? And shall not my soul be avenged? Of just a nation as this, sorry. Give you up, give you up, give you up on her her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. Take away her battlements, battlements, for they are not the Lord. So the Most High, eleven, for the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very trustfully against me said the lord and if the most high said i hate those who have pleasure in doing wickedness they're not going to dwell with me and in, in the end of the day he will destroy the rib the, the the wicked one he have already put that he will kill he will destroy them but only the remnant he going to spare that's why he said are he not going to make a full ended of all full ended of them but make not full end. Give you up upon her walls and destroy, but make not a full end. So not don't destroy them all. And those are those he's going to give grace. Okay? Those who the most high destroy, he don't he don't repent. Because they're wicked. He know they 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 was they went from they they was waxing from worse and worse. They wasn't they wasn't taken to repent. But if you ask David, the most high going to the most are going to take you back and, 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 and start working again with you. But if you as Saul or this Israelites, he's going to cut you off and you're not going to dwell with him, nor among his people. Okay? So, those things that I have read are works of iniquity. If you're doing those kind of things, you will go to the lake. You are the one who is going to knock on the door and he say, I'm, I, I did not know you. Workers are iniquity or when you don't keep the most high's law. That means you are sinning. Sinning means when you don't keep his law. Physically and spiritually. Okay? So, <clears throat> 6. He says, Thou shalt destroy them that speak in leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful men. But as for me, I will come unto thy house. In the multitude of thy mercy and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple lead me O lord in thy righteousness because of my enemies make thy way straight before my face and you know when you have enemies you have to pray daily to the most high 
so that he can make you righteous. So that you can right, work on his righteousness or work on his path. Okay, he asked him to make him, um, uh, in, uh, he said, lead me, lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of my enemies. Because if the Most High don't lead you, the enemy will have power to destroy you. But when the Most High leads you in his righteousness, the enemy won't have any power to come upon you because the Most High will destroy the enemy. And the very reason why the Most High is destroying the enemy is because the enemies are sins against the Most High. The Most High will hate when you do a wickedness. So if someone is doing wickedness to you, a brother or a sister, he he, he telling lies about you, uh, he's stealing from you, or all those wicked things he's he doing to you, you better make sure that you work in, work in righteousness. Because in the end of the day, the Most High, he just only care. He just going to look, oh, you doing, you still doing righteous? Okay. But those of you who are doing wicked, I'm going to destroy you. Okay? Because the Most High know when you're doing wickedness, so he will destroy your enemy. He will destroy your enemy because your enemy is doing wickedness. That's why he will destroy him. That's why I ask him, lead me to walk in your righteousness because of my enemy's sake. And we know when you say you serve in the Most High, the enemies, they will, they, they going to watch you 24-7. They will watch to see if you say something so they can use it against you. Okay? They will and, and go everywhere to portray for you, you know, because they know you walk with the Most High. Okay? And they, they want to destroy you. He say, make thy way straight before my face. So make sure that I walk according to your scriptures so that the enemy don't have nothing to say about me. Okay? Um... 9. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward parts is very wickedness. Their throat is open or is an open septular. They flatter with their tongue. So they are evil. They are evil. And these people, they are, we know, they are Israelite. They are they for these enemy, these enemies. They are not for our people. They are people in David's family who, who are doing those things with him. They are not other nation people. Okay? They are not other nations people. Because these people are people who talk to you daily. Okay? He said they are flattering with their tongues. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions. For they have rebelled against the sea. When you sin, you don't sin against other Israelites. But you sins against the Most High, and that's why the Most High will destroy your enemy. Because your enemy destroy your enemies is sinning. He is sinning against the Most High, and that that's why the Most High will destroy him, and, and he will protect you. Okay, I hope I say it. I say it. I I use the righteous. I I, I use the right way. But let's go back to verse nine. He said, "For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is very wickedness. Their throat is open." Septular, I hope I read this. Yes. They flatter with their tongues. Let's go. So let's go to the book of Matthew, chapter 20, 23 first. We're going to start at first. First 27. Because he was uh, talking about that they are wicked, like, uh, they, you know, um, all those wicked things, that are the, uh, the, uh, those things that come out, out of their mouth are only wickedness. They're speaking lies, and and they are like, you know, these, uh, I don't know, uh, this, uh, I don't know how to say the word, but, uh, okay, but they are wicked, they are wicked. Okay, let's go and read an example here in the book of Matthew, chapter 20, 23. Uh, first, we're going to start at first seventy two. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like uh, unto whited sepulchres. Like there, he 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 was saying the same thing in the book of um, Psalm. Okay, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like on uh, like unto white sepulchres, sepulchres. <laughs> Which indeed appear beautiful out outward, but are wedding full of dead men's bones and and of uncleanness. Do you think these Pharisees wasn't eating clean food? 
they wasn't keeping the Sabbath and wasn't he was keeping the feast days. They was doing all those things, but they was wicked. They was wicked. That's why you have to clean yourself. The Most High sees all those sins that you're doing behind closed door. He know everything. If you come to the Sabbath class and or the feast day, or you come into the the, the church with what kind of mindset you are, there, the Most High sees everything. Or the Most High heard everything. He sees everything. He can read them, their mind. So he know he was calling these thing. You are like this, 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 this. You know, this, this. I um, I, I the name is so difficult to read. Sepulchers, when those when you buried people, the, the beautiful look like very beautiful. They put flowers on it, all those things, write the name, everything. It look be very beautiful. But the insides is, is, is with the bones and, and, and it's rotten, it stink. Uh, you have um, uh, these, um, I don't know the name, but we call them meat, modern. <laughs> okay. He was like, that's how many of many Israelites are. From the outside, they're looking very beautiful and kind, but the inside are like this, okay? Even ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within you are full of hypocr hyp hypocrisy and iniquity. We have read the Most High said, He hid those who doing, who doing work of iniquity, they wasn't doing work of iniquity, these Pharisees and Sadducees. They was reading the book, say they know the book, but they was wicked. Okay? 29. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophet and garnish the, the sepulchres of the righteous. And says, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we shall not have been partakers with them in the blood of, of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witness unto yourselves that you are children of them which kill the prophets. And that's how it is. You know, when we talk, we about, we talk about our ancestors, sometimes you will hear some Israelites say, if I was my ancestors, I will not do those kind of things. I will do this. I will do this. Listen, many of you who so say those things, you said, but even the Most High give us many examples of those things that he hate, of those things that the reason why he did, he did, he did send our ancestors into the, into the Americas and all, all over the planet, what the, the reason why he did curse us, all every example are in this book. He says this book is of to learn and to um to learn and uh, he, there uh, okay to learn out of. We must read this book to learn for not to make the same mistake that our ancestor made. And still till this day, we have Israelites. They go and do the same thing that we read that we're not supposed to do them, but they will say, "Oh, he did it, she did it." So why 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 do you say that you if you were if we were our ancestors you won't do the same thing you do it the same thing and you are worse because you know example those people there they wasn't they have the most high they have the book but we 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 have everything we have everything that we need the most high make sure that they write everything that we need here in the book but still you go and doing the same thing so you like you like you 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 like just like these people. Who say if we if they were out if we were there we won't kill them? He said you you wicked, and that's how many of you are. You say if you were was them you won't do those kind of things. Listen, you are you reading a book, but still you doing worse than our ancestor back then because you have you have you have the book, and you know the difference, but you still doing wickedness. Okay, so twenty thirty two, fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. So many Israelites they still do those the, they still doing the wickedness that our ancestor did. Okay. And th thirty three, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? And these serpents and vipers, we know when the serpent bites you, you will die. Okay, you're going to die. Some serpents when they bite you will die. Some you're not going to die. And that's when in the book of Psalm he said those things that come out of their mouth they are wicked, like these Pharisees. 
they're very wicked. Okay? They say, I love you, but they, in their mind, they hate you. Okay? They say shalom to you, but in their mind, they're cursing you. Okay? They say, let's do, uh, like, let's keep the Sabbath and other things, but in their mind, they, they, hate, they hate the words of the Most High. Okay. He said you can't you can't escape the damnation of the most high. You can't escape that because the most high already know read he read your mind. Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them you shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall you scourge in your synagogue and persecute them from city to city. And this this, this is exactly what did happen after Christ resurrect. They kill Christ and Many of those disciples, they, 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 they was trying to destroy them. Okay? So, so let's go to the, um, yeah. let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 16 through 19. These, these six things that the Lord hates, yes, yeah, seven are abominations unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. And so had all those 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 things that I have read. These scribes and Pharisees, they had them all. These are all workers of iniquity. And those things, the most high don't have pressure when you do those things. You don't have pleasure in. You're not going to dwell among his people and you're not going to dwell among um, uh, uh, with him. You won't dwell among because he's going to cut you off. And on heart, on heart that def defish. Defies it, wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in running to mischief. So have was like this, the Pharisees as well. A false witness that speaking lies, and he and he that sowed discord among brothers. The Pharisee was they had they was all like this. Um so as well. Because of so the they were separating. David with an uh, other group of Israelites and, and, um, and Saul, they had another group of Israelites. They, they, so they became enemy because of Saul, because of his jealousy and hate toward his own brother. And the same thing with the Israelites, uh, the, the Pharisees. They was jealous on Christ. So when Christ came, they had their gang, Christ with his. They was the one who was, they was after Christ and they, they, they was trying to keep the people from, from not listening to Christ. These are the one who they sow a discord among brother, and you still have them till this day among the Israelites. Okay, so the most high he this all this wickedness. If you're doing those kind of things, if you have those kind of spirit, you have to fight you have to fight against them. You have to pray that the most high going to live deliver you and fast so that he can deliver you from, from this. Okay, and he will heal you, and then you're going to heal you, heal you. Okay. So let's go back to the book of Psalm chapter 5. Okay. 10. Destroy thou them, O God. Let them fall by their own counsel. Cast them out in the multitude of their, of their transgression, for they have rebelled against thee. Oh, I have already read this. So if you do wickedness like these Pharisees and so, you don't, you don't rebel against uh, Saul, so wasn't, rebel, wasn't rebel, rebel against David, but the, unto the Most High. He was, uh, these Pharisees, they wasn't rebel against, um, against uh, Christ, but unto his father. Okay? That's what you must know. When you have enemy, know, let them doing their things that they have to do, but you must still serve the Most High on the righteous way. Stay faithful to the Most High and go to him, cry unto him. But the Most High going to deal with your enemy because your enemy, while you, you do your best to repent, the enemy... He will do the best he can to destroy you. So he is doing wickedness and the Most High will destroy them because the wicked will not dwell uh, with the Most High. 11. But let all those that put their trust in thee in, in, in the rejoice. Let them ever shoot, shout for you because they, thou defends them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. And when you still do righteous, the Most High going to uh, uh, Defends, defends you, but the re, um, let me say he going to defend you because he destroyed the weak, the, the wicked one who was sinning against him. Okay, I know, I hope it makes sense. 
So in twelve, for thou, O Lord, for thou, Lord, will bless it, for thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him as with a shield. So when you when you do the uh, when you follow the most high, you trust in him. You are you are you are Israelite who don't have pleasure in in work in wickedness. You you are far away from the, those who, who those who are doing works of iniquity. Even you're not afraid of them, but when you you see they they doing those kind of thing, you just get away from there. The Most High, He going to be He will bless you. Okay, He will bless you and with favor and with with thou compass will thou compass him compass him as with a shield so he going to be your shield he going to protect you i hope i have explained the last verse right okay so so stay faithful to the most high while your enemy he he, he wants to do you evil okay stay faithful stay righteous still walk righteous on uh, to his path like david like christ and all these disciples okay so this was the, the the lesson of the book of psalm and i hope you enjoyed shalom